I might just run down. What is going on guys? I hope you're doing well. Normally I would do this intro outside, but I don't know if you can see in the background there, but it is blowing a gale. I'm gonna go for a little bit of a fish tonight. I know it sounds crazy, but we've got a little bit of a sheltered spot. We're just gonna go for a land-based session. We're gonna use some lures and we're gonna hopefully get some liveies as well and see how we go with the liveies because uh, last video that I did with some live baiting stuff, you guys really, really enjoyed it. So we're just gonna see how we go. Go grab the cast net out and um, throw some liveies around. I'll just show you the conditions at the moment, what we're dealing with tonight. Let's jump onto Fish Ranger here and pull up the spot. Saturday, so here we go, Easterlies. 25 to 25, uh, 20 to 25 knots, reaching up to 30. Um, water temps up 25.9, it's not too bad. You can see here, that wind's, mm, it's not too bad. It's in and out, but yeah, look at that, it's all just red. And it's gonna be like that for the next couple of days, which sucks, so. But here's the conditions, cloud cover, not much, no rain really, a little bit of rise in the um, barometer. And the tides, this is what's most exciting, is the tide is high right at 6.30, which is obviously like sunset, last light sort of period as well. So the spot that I'm going to is like a little landlocked system and it's a creek that's got like, like a couple of drains that go through it. So hopefully with that tide coming in, pushing all that bait in and then that tide receding out. So we're gonna fish around that time. It's roughly around four o'clock now. So it gives us heaps of time to go collect some bait. So sit back, relax and enjoy. And um, yeah, let's see what we can do. the other side of the spillway. Very confusing because I thought the tide was coming in but obviously not because that drain is coming from the, the system. So, But I am seeing a little bit of bait around so hopefully we can just do a cast or two around here get enough bait. If not we'll just go out to the further out the front of the system. A couple of rocks but it's nothing, it doesn't look like anything too sharp. Anyone that's interested I throw an eight foot net. I bought this about a year ago and I forgot how to use it because I didn't really do much live baiting but now I've gotten back into it. Remember it like riding a bike basically. How do we get? I got a whiting. A couple of are they winters? That's a winter whiting. That's a sand so the sand will go. We've got a little winter whiting in the middle of summer. <laughs> I know they're called winter whiting, but you can still get them year round. Silver bitties. Whoop. Silver shitties, I call them. Oh, that's a scat, so we don't want him. Ooh. That car sounds just as healthy as my buddy bait casting reels. Looks like it's going to be a silver bitty knot, I think. Oh, these are herring, so that's pretty good. Get a few of them there, hey? Get a yeah, little herring. Oh, what? Yeah. Hello. Yeah, live bait. What are you um, honestly, whatever. <laughs> Whatever's going to eat them, to be honest. If you know how to throw a cast net, it's so much easier. Not yeah, oh, just look on YouTube, man. It's like literally the first video, how to throw a cast net. They make it so easy for you. Not much going on? No, okay. Oh, I'll just show. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, thanks, mate. Oh, I finally got a potty. A little potty mullet. These are little stripy bastards. These guys suck because they just get caught up in your net. Shit. These little bastards, what are they called? I forgot what they're called. Bard something. Bard prickly pines. There you guys. probably saw in that footage there that I 
smash my casting it up and uh, she's a write-off. Really and truly a write-off, but that's alright. Got this spare casting it. Shout out to the little brother who forgot about it. So it's going into here. Another silver bitty. I think there was a brim in here as well. A oh, toad fish as well. That's what's making the carry on. What do we get? Ah, that's a good cast. Some potties and we'll probably do one more cast and then we'll call it because that's enough. Little uh, silver bitty, perfect size. Little brimbo, he's going back. Uh, another silver, silver bitty, we'll just back him up. Back it up, Terry. Couple of mullies. Oh, perfect size. And a herring. Perfect. We've got a plethora of bait. Not gonna lie, it's probably a terrible angle of me. I've got a couple of kids around, so I'm just gonna try and film where I can and see how we go about it. So I'm gonna do two rods. I'm gonna do a lighter rod for the silver biddies and stuff with a lighter gauge hook. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, little PWG one, little weedless one, little soft one. And I've got a couple of bigger mullets, so we'll just throw one of these circle hooks. Bigger rod's gonna be the bait caster, so that's a Dobbins 664C, 20 pound leader, 20 pound braid. We're also gonna run the lighter rod which is the Stratic 3000 Dobbin 702 SF uh, 20 and 20 as well. With the lighter one I might put a little running sinker on it as well just to kind of pop those little silver bitties out. So we're running out of light soon so I'm going to try and capture as much as I can. Stay tuned and uh, let's see how we go. I will start off with the big mullet in the back there, unweighted. Put a little mullet on this one. Oops, sorry mate. So that's just with the EWG with a little running sinker there in the nose. See how that goes. So they've got this lighty. Okay, just let him eat it. See my mullet on the top and then just hear boof boof. He's still, he's still got it. Is he still there? See he's dropped it? He's dropped it. He freaking dropped it. Damn it. He's still alive though. Oh yeah, you got the shit scared off him. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. It just boofed it, like it just, like right where, you, where your line is now, it just boofed it and then ran. Yeah, on the mullet, yeah. Yeah, I gotta tighten up my drag, get myself sorted here. I might just run down. I think I'm over here. Yep. Oh, he's just here. He's not massive, I don't think. Oh! Nah, just pin, pull the hook. <sighs> just popped off. That's frustrating. Oh, well. get it back out there. Must have been hooked well. So, just hooked that queenie. Seen him jump, and carry on, and all sorts, but yeah, no luck. No luck. So devo, so so devo. Oh, that's annoying. Not gonna lie, you're gonna have a beautiful little sunset here. 
went a bit, won't be able to see the sun behind the houses there, but it's gonna be quite nice just chilling here, just having a great time. I don't feel like moving too, too far anytime soon, so I'll just kind of hang around here. Obviously there's fish here, Queenie. We're just gonna sit here and wait patiently. It's different to lure fishing, that's for sure. Lure fishing is very active. This is far from active, just chilling. But plenty of livey, so we can be here all night and just have a good time. All right, so just a bit of an update. Been about an hour or so now, and not too much happening. So we've got a silver bitty, mullet, mullet, still going. Basically, I reckon once the mullet run out, I'm gonna run out and call it a day, but um, yeah. We'll just keep persisting here for a little bit longer. The locals, you probably saw them in that little clip before, thought it's really weird because this drain should be flowing in at this time or you know around 6.30 sort of thing, but it never happened and it just kept going out and out and out. So they're not sure what the go was there. So yeah, really, really strange. So we'll keep going though. We'll keep persisting, keep trying, see what happens. In the meantime, I'm gonna chuck some YouTube on. Okay, something's running with it, guys. You can see this spool. Do I just go for it? What do I do? I'll just set it. Yep. There it goes. There it goes. She's got the net. That's a grunter. Yep. There we go. Do not save her. Well, it's better than nothing, I suppose. Ooh. There we go. Little grunter. He's probably only about 25, 30 or so. That's better than nothing, I suppose. Better than a donut. The rod bent over backwards and I thought, oh, maybe it's Queenie or something. So that gives me confidence to keep going and keep trying in this spot. So that was on a little mullet. So actually, no, it was a bitty. Yeah, it was on a little bitty. So we might even just put another one back on. See how we go. I won't bother with the release for this one just because it's just going to be so dark. You're not going to see much at all. So we'll let him go. Beautiful. All right, to pick up the livey rod. Turn this light on. That thing's big. Whatever that is. That is running. That real guy. Hasn't jumped yet, so I don't know what it is. Just trying to slowly get him back. Gotta be close. What is that? Is that a herring? That is. That's my first one ever. Oh. Um, giant herring, guys. Yes. Oh, look at that. How good is that? Oh, he's only just pinned too. Oh, what a creepy looking fish. I've never caught one of these before, guys. Oh my God. I'll run back and we'll get the camera going. They're like a snake, hey? Look at that. There you go. Beautiful herring. I just measured him in the net. He's about 70, 70 odd. But that's so cool, eh? Such a mean fish. I didn't realize how slimy they are. Anyway, look at that. Look at that tail, eh? That, that's made it worth hanging out for. So we'll get a release on this fella and um, get back into it. You ready, mate? That's so cool. That's so sick, guys. I didn't even set that ca um, camera away from the grunter. It was literally like five minutes later. So, got a couple more liveys left. We'll throw them out and yeah, then call it a night. It's about, what's the time now? Time's about 8.15. So, we'll keep persisting and um, see what we can get. All right. Oh. F held me. Oh, that's f That's Stratix Oh guys, I wasn't paying attention at all and the uh, 
Stradek and the Dobbins went in the water, I was able to recover it, but this shaft is not spinning up and down anymore. So that looks like that's done until I get back home and I'll head to Jones's tackle or something, see what they can do about it. I've just given it a good, good rinse in fresh water and I'm gonna soak it overnight in fresh. Hopefully if that's enough to stop it from corroding. I don't know. I really don't know. It's just turned on here at the moment. Just turned on here. Let's put a mullet on. All right, guys, that's me done. I hope you really enjoyed that one. I'm enjoying the Libby stuff. I'm not gonna stop doing the lure stuff. I definitely love the lure stuff. It's great just to sit back, relax and enjoy. And I'm um, just taking the views, taking the scenery. And I'm um, even watching a little bit of YouTube as well. So hope you enjoy it. If you're new, welcome. Give it a subscribe, like, comment if you got anything for me. And I will see you in the next video. See you guys.